It's me, monkey. It's one for you piece of shit. Don't leave us out here with him. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. Don't go into the light. Don't go into the light. I didn't mean that to check it. I never had a choice, I swear. What is that thing? Swifty, I got all the fucking night. Step away from the nice dark. Just how we like. You are my friend! 
This is some serious people fitters to come after you, Jackie. Take them all back to Wall Street. You're just a low-life punk, Swift. Who the fuck put you up to this? You think I wanted to mess with you? Come on, I had no choice. You stubborn prick. Are you even listening to what I'm saying? gets a hold of you, you start to lose control. You start to wonder what the fuck you're doing. Time slips away from you. And then, all of a sudden, it's like you're sitting in a theater, watching a movie of your own life. And you're up there on the big screen, big as life. 
You're a fucking movie star, and you're killing all the bad guys, tearing them limb from limb. And you feel good, you look good. Fuck, you are good. And then you realize something. Everyone else in the theater, they're screaming. Because they're watching a horror movie. And you're not the hero. You're the monster. Eddie and Frank are checking out the brimstone right now. And the new guys found your buddy, Johnny Powell. Yeah, he didn't take your invitation so good. Put him in the back room so he could shit his pants for a while. Follow well, me. Can't wait to see him again. Yeah, it's me. These guy's a couple clowns short of a circus, Jackie. He wasn't living by the Queensboro Bridge. He was living under it, in a cardboard box. All right, come on. He's back here. Hey, Chief, how's the wife and kids? Mm. Well, he's in a good mood. There you go. Knock yourself out. So let's say you live in a big house and you own some books. I mean, some other fuck nuts might live at the North Pole and they own a lawn. Johnny Powell, you look like shit. You were supposed to be the expert. I paid you good money to help me figure things out, and you repaid me by skipping out in the middle of the night. For what? Jackie, I did what I could to help you control the darkness. But being around you was becoming a problem for me. The darkness is so fucking seductive. I could hear it whispering to me whenever I was around you. It was starting to change me. Are you going to kill me? Is that what this is all about? I let it out, Johnny. Now I don't know if I can control it. You let the darkness back out? Jesus Christ, Jackie, that thing is like a slow suicide. Then help me get it back under control. You don't control the darkness, Jackie. You cower in fucking fear of it, and you pray it goes away. The longer the darkness is active, the more it'll try to confuse you. It'll try to trap you, make you see stuff that, that, that other people can't see. I need your help, so you're back on the payroll until I say you can go. A bunch of assholes just came after my entire operation. And whoever gave them this envelope is connected to the darkness somehow. I need you to figure out who they are and what they know about it. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, I, I'll do what I can. It's... It'll go a lot faster if you get one of your gorillas to untie me. Please? 